Welcome back to another Climb Product Walkthrough. I'm Lucas Eddy, and today we're going to be looking at the all-new Avalanche backpacks for this season. We have the Atlas 14 Vest, the Atlas 14 Backpack, and the Atlas 24 Backpack. There's a lot of stuff to go over on all these, and there's a lot of similarities as well, so bear with me. The first thing you gotta know is two of these bags on display here haven't had the E2 system installed. This one does, but yours will come with the system installed. There are a lot of key differences between the E1 and the E2 systems. The E2 is what's in all of these. We have a different video that goes over all of those differences, how they work, what's the key features on those. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on in the E2. So check out that video and that's gonna save us some time in this one where it's using that E2 system across all three of these. And we've had that E2 in our line now for a little over a year. All right, so here we go, we'll jump into it. We got the Atlas 14 vest, that's what we'll start with. Obviously it's a full riding vest and it's designed to be pretty minimalist in the amount of things it can carry. So right here on the front, you can see we have our radio and beacon mounting areas across the front there. That will route internally, and then through these zippers, you'll pop those out and attach them to wherever you want them to be. We have a beacon carrier right here in the front, a beacon holster, and this is built into the webbing just like we have on our lock saw where it's built in. Um, and you can carry your beacon on the front here, so you don't have to undo your whole vest to access your beacon in an emergency scenario. We like having this right here, super easy access, and it's built into the webbing, like I said, so the whole thing is attached to you. On the other side here, we have another little zippered pocket. It's pretty slim. You can maybe put your phone in there, but better put your phone in your pants pocket or in your bibs pocket, like an amp pocket or something like that. Uh, this is good for like some snacks, earplugs, small things like that. And then while we're here on the front, we can see we have a bunch of adjustment features here along the sides and on the top there. So you can really adjust how snug that vest fits around your body there. This is the same metal buckles and uh, nylon webbing that you're used to on all the rest of the backpacks. It's just built into the frame of the vest here. So it goes all the way through, just like all the rest of the Avalanche packs, they're all certified um, to meet those safety standards. And speaking about safety, this whole thing is adding you a lot more protection than just a regular backpack. So imagine kind of like a tech vest turned into a riding vest with Avalanche safety features in it. Like we got this uh, molded EVA foam, all throughout the back here and some harder panels throughout this whole vest to kind of protect you from your handlebars, from tree branches, from things like that that might stab you in the torso. Now let's move on to the back. Here the first thing you'll see is these red zippers. All of our Avalanche backpacks have the Avi tools identified by red zippers here. So if you're telling your buddies to pull your equipment out for you when you're in a search scenario, you can just tell them red zipper, red zipper. That's where it is. So let's pop this open here. And here we go. This is something that you'll see throughout all these packs. It's gonna look a little bit different on each one, but this is where your Avi tools go. Probe, shovel, shovel handle, shovel blade, all that stuff goes right in here. Super easy to access. Look how big that access panel is. That's also where we access our E2 system right here. Pop this open, that's where it goes. We turn it on, turn it off, plug it in to charge it, uh, replace the batteries, check the status, all that stuff happens right in here. The deflation access is right here. Same thing with all the other packs. And in here we have some handy dandy emergency distress signals and instructions in case you're really in a bad situation and you gotta read the information on your backpack to uh, help stay alive. So that's all on the inside of the pack here, of the vest here. Another thing you'll see on all the backpacks here on the new backpacks are these red D-rings. And this is to attach the RPD rapid probe deployment system. And that's gonna attach on the outside here on these red D-rings and that's gonna let you access through the bottom with another red buckle, that's gonna let you access your probe. So you can pop that open and access your probe really quickly without taking the backpack off. So that's another accessory we sell. You can swap it onto any of these backpacks, pretty cool. And then one more thing, we're gonna see this also in all three of these backpacks are the storage options on the back of the pack. Molded goggle pocket on the top, and then a kind of square rectangular shape pocket right back here. This is a perfect size for your uh, climb beef jerky. So go ahead and throw that in the pack. And then we'll just show you guys this here, the breakaway zipper. So there you can see, this is where that airbag would sit uh, coming all through here uh, with those indications like we have on the E2 system on the front, the back, where the head is oriented and all that stuff. And that's where you route your uh, handle through as well, what's well, gonna come routed when you buy this. Uh, but then the other cool thing is, if you wanna be able to access your radio and change the frequencies really easily, and you have one that has a long wire on it, like the BCAs, um, that's where you put your radio, right up here on the top. So super easy access. You don't have to dig through your backpack to get it out, change the frequency, turn it on, turn it off, do whatever. Uh, there's your radio storage right in there. 
A couple more little features here on the outside of the, of the vest here. D-ring, metal D-ring for your kill switch. Drain grommet right here if you got snow on your AVI tools. And the last thing we got to talk about, which is going to be on all the packs here as well, is the harness system. So it's going to come with one of these, which can go on your leg. This is going to be your leg harness, still using the same red little tab here with the attachment to the rest of the pack. Or you can take this harness piece off right here. You can take this off and run the red flosser up into the middle of your waist strap like we usually do with backpacks. Now let's jump over to the 14 backpack. Also very similar to the vest in terms of the features we got here. Let's start with this outside back panel right here. Two pockets, molded goggle pocket, grommet here that we talked about, and those three red D-rings for the RPD. Avi tools with the red zipper heads drop in here. Emergency instructions, same thing, E2 system goes in there. And we got a couple differences here with this pack, and they're all on the back area here. There's a radio pocket right in there, right up on the front near where the vest has it. But it's also super easy to access this and throw your radio in there. Easy to run your cables up along the shoulder strap. And now that we're talking about the shoulder straps, we've got some cool stuff going on here. Double-headed zippers here for the sheath for your AVI pull handle. So when you're in travel mode, you can zip it up. You're not going to be worried about snagging it when you leave your system on. But then you can open it up and really adjust and fine-tune where you put your handle to have it accessible right here. Same thing for the radio on the other side. Cover it up, keep the snow off it. You can still hear through this, zip it up, and keep it protected. The other thing that's going to be on both of these backpacks is this chest harness. We also sell the attack chest harness. There's going to be a separate video on those as well so look for our social media content for that uh, but that can replace these shoulder straps so you take off these shoulder straps and put the chest harness on there and then of course we also have a leg harness here which will go up around your leg or you can take it off and just run the red flosser up to the waist strap like usual it's up to you and that's pretty much it for the atlas 14 backpack let's jump and look at the big boy here the atlas 24. same thing on the back here we got our little rectangular pocket here the molded goggle pocket adjustment straps on the outside to cinch up your load. And what you'll notice is the AVI tool compartment zips past the straps. So you don't have to undo your adjustment cinch straps here to get into the AVI tool compartment. That's a nice change we like to see. And then the key difference here that makes this backpack, the 24, the bigger than the 14, is this additional large compartment right here. So big compartment to put all your mid layers, your snacks, your whatever you wanna put in there, your extra gloves your hat, all that stuff can go in this extra big compartment here in the middle. And then of course we have our breakaway zipper here for the actual airbag. This is also, this main compartment here is where you're gonna access your E2 system. Check the status, do all those things that I mentioned earlier. And of course, all these backpacks have this mesh window here. So you can see the battery status, you can deflate the pack from the outside externally here. Now we keep moving around up to the front. The same modular chest harness system, same as the Atlas 14 that I just talked about. But now we also have more storage here on the hip belt. Both hip belts have pockets on the sides. You can throw your snacks, throw whatever you want in there, your phone, all those things. And then up here on the top, I'm not going to open it, but again, it's the same exact radio storage pouch up on the top. Super easy to access, same as the Atlas 14. And there you go. That's a quick summary of the all new Atlas backpacks, the Atlas 14 vest, the Atlas 24 backpack, and the Atlas 14 backpack.